Right, so the stablecoin flow, guys, is um, actually in our favor for the bulls, right? We've had a nice reset and we could very well see a major pump. I think very likely within the next week or two, we're gonna be seeing a major reversal in this market. It's kind of like a rubber band, guys. There's so much stable coins on the sidelines ready to be deployed that we're probably gonna sort of slingshot forward in the not so distant future. And I know a lot of people are going to be um, upset with me that I'm bullish, you know, down here at this low point. But guys, usually when, a, when you make a good call, it's met with criticism. <laughs>
But normally when you're up at these levels, that is where the bottom is coming in. And we are currently up here at a 0.5. And that means that it's becoming very likely that currently there's enough stable coins on the sidelines ready to be deployed that once this momentum starts shifting, we're gonna see a major increase in stablecoin flow into the market, right? Positive flow. The red means that there's actually stable coins being spent, right? Deployed into the market. That's what the red is, right? And that's why all of these pumps take place during these major red zones. So the green is like stable coins are more dormant and then red, they're flowing into the market. And we're currently, you know, sitting at this point where historically, you know, this usually is a reversal point in trends. That is, you know, currently with the stablecoin flow is showing that it's becoming very likely, you know, almost 90% or you could say like 80 to 90% um, certainty that we're going to get a reversal in the market very soon based on this metric. Looking at the Bitcoin versus buying power chart. Same thing with this metric. This is also a really good one. And it's kind of reversed. The green means that stablecoins are on the sidelines. Potential buying power. And if you're looking at this green area right here, there's a lot, a lot of potential buying power ready to be deployed, right? When we dumped here to 30,000, look how much potential buying power is on the sidelines. And that resulted in a massive upswing, right? When we had that major flip into the red zone. And that's how actually we predicted 30,000 as the bottom on this channel, right? Because if you're looking at that 30K zone, uh, we started to see stable coins being deployed. See that little red spike? Right at that 30,000 zone. That was actually part of the bottom call. Um, and now we're, we see tons of stable coins on the sidelines ready to once again be deployed and possibly send us up um, into a New Year's rally. I think it's quite likely, right? So the stable coin flow, guys, is um, actually in our favor for the bulls, right? We've had a nice reset and we could very well see a major pump. Now, short term, could we see some sort of quick dump? Maybe, but I think very likely within the next week or two, we're going to be seeing a major reversal in this market. There's just, it's kind of like a rubber band, guys. There's so much stable coins on the sidelines ready to be deployed that we're probably going to sort of slingshot forward in the not so distant future. And I know a lot of people are going to be um, upset with me that I'm bullish, you know, down here at this low point. But guys, usually when, a, when you make a good call, it's met with criticism. And I do think we are very close to reversing this trend. And also just to mention, looking at the stock market here, guys. So, you know, some people were saying, you know, you know the S&P bounced up. We're at the all-time high. Why didn't Bitcoin bounce? There, there's no correlation or something. But, you know, interestingly enough, this correlation is most accurate on the weekly time frame. Within, within one to two weeks, the correlation is usually quite accurate. Just like right here, guys, at the end of September, Bitcoin rallied you know, a full week ahead of the stock market, but then the S&P followed, right? And now the S&P is up, you know, a week or two before Bitcoin and Bitcoin might be ready to follow based on all the metrics we just discussed. So it's just like this zone here, guys, a little bit of lag is actually normal, but I think Bitcoin's gonna catch up very soon, especially if the S&P gets an all-time high break that's gonna be very good for an investor sentiment, right? Speculators like to speculate on Bitcoin when the stock market is doing good, doing well. That's why the correlation has actually some merit, right? But guys, definitely smash the like button on this video and subscribe if you're new. And that's it for this video. Be sure to join the Patreon if you wanna support this channel further and get extra content. Also sign up for CryptoWatch which is my favorite charting platform, this platform that you guys see me use here. And I'll see you all in the next video.